How's it going Twitch? My name is Skull and on behalf of East Asia Soft, welcome to today's stream. Today I am continuing my playthrough of Love Esquire, which is out now digitally on Nintendo Switch and there is a physical version of this game up for pre-order right now at PlayAsia.com. Um, yeah, this is my third day playing through this game and it's kind of weird looking at all these girls and realizing I actually know who each of them are now. <laughs> so, yeah, isn't that interesting? Anyway, so let's just go ahead and continue right where we left off. This is a really fun game. It's like a point and click adventure, but also a visual novel. It's kind of hard to explain exactly what it is, but it's a whole lot of fun. That's all I know. <laughs> wow. Good night, everybody. Bro, wake Hi, Dim. You almost bought the game two hours ago. Oh, what stopped you? Uh, I don't wanna. Right now! Jeez. What's going on? Emergency! Downstairs! Now! What? Is there a rat or. Now! Okay! 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 Ugh, what is with her? I wanted to check my calendar. Turned out free shipping was over. Oh no, yeah, that's why I didn't bring it up. It ended at the end of November, which was yesterday in Asia. Unfortunate. Fortunate that you missed out on that. Sorry, Dem. A greeting, Squire. S Squire? Oh. Oh my. Let me guess. Not wearing clothes? Mm, Beatrice. Is greeting guests in your unmentionables a custom in Cerulea? Okay, he's wearing his underwear. No, it is not, Kamala. And for as long as I am queen, it will stay that way. <laughs> Wait, this is Amy's fault. This is Amy's fault. This is our sister's fault. She told us to get downstairs right now. No time to waste. Uh, if you princesses could excuse me. It's all her fault. You are excused. I cover my boxers and go. <laughs> pants! I need pants! That's Amy's fault. Princess, I'm sorry you had to see that. Pay no mind to it, Squire. Let us all forget about that, shall we? No arguments here? Oh, where's Princess Kamala? I'd like to apologize as well. She had business with your father, Squire. It had something to do with Cerulean farming techniques. They are at your orchards right now. I see. Is that why you're here as well? No, I am here for this. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate, Dem. I'm sorry that you missed out. But hey, the game is still getting physical release, so maybe some other time. You still got time. Suddenly, she hands me a basket of fresh-smelling pastries. Aren't these... Yes, apple tarts. Aw, oh, man, I can't remember the last time I ate apple tarts. Uh, when's it being released? Well, Luke, um... Actually, let me look that up real quick, because I don't know. Um... Later is all I know for sure, but... It, it, digitally, it's available right now. Um, let me look up. It is expected to ship... Oh, next month, actually. So, like, a week or two from now, maybe. <laughs> I would assume. So, yeah. Uh, really soon here. The very ones you were pigging out on during the war meeting. The pigging? <laughs> Good one. Oh, my apologies, Squire. I did not mean to remind you of that unfortunate event with the boar. It's fine, Princess, really. But you shouldn't have. Your note was more than enough. No, no, I insist that you have these. I told you I would thank you properly. Well, these are great. Thanks. And I did enjoy our friendly competition, after all. It's no fair that the character in the game gets to eat those apple tarts and I don't. Friendly? I got stomped. Indeed you did. Our little chat was interesting as well. Your honesty was refreshing. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, and I thought you'd really have my head for that. Fear not, Squire. I am not the vicious ruler you think I am. Well, 
since you like me being honest, I kind of thought that you were one, Princess. And that is how Squire Skull died. But now, well, I'm glad I was wrong. I... I... Hm. Well, unfortunately, a ruler cannot afford to show mercy. And now he's dead. And you can blame the nobles for that. The nobles? Yes. Those slimy, lying, egotistical serpents. Well, I'm not a fan of nobles myself, especially the snooty ones. It's kind of hard growing up being looked down on. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Squire. If it is any recompense, my childhood was not as splendid because of them as well. A princess like you? Really? How naive, Squire. Refreshing, but naive. Now, if you would excuse me, Squire, I have a kingdom to run. Remember, take better care of yourself. Will do, Princess. Now, where is Kamala? Well, that was nice of her. Achievement unlocked. A princess and her people. Relationship gone up. Nice! Hey, Betsy. Bessie's milk obtained. I still can't get over that Bessie is literally just says There you are. Me. Just the guy I was looking for. Oh. I just wanted to go up to my room to check the calendar. Is that just not possible? Hugh? That's Sir Hugh. Anyway, I need you to report to the castle. What? How come? Well, one of the guards tried to eat a raw slime as part of a dare. It's a trend that's spreading around, apparently. Dumbass. And, long story short, we're now a bit understaffed for this afternoon's patrols. Patrol duty? Great, just when I thought I had some free time. I can't go to my room! Stupid Hugh, dumping work on me. You there, are you Sir Hugh, Squire? Yeah, that's me. What's up? Your little girlfriend's raising hell at the gates. What? Look, just go there and fix it, okay? Things are tough enough around here as it is. My girlfriend, huh? Last thing we need is some girl causing a security breach. Did he say girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Wait a minute. Is this his sister? Do I have a fan? Like, a fan girl? I hope she's cute. Then again, she could be one of those creepy stalker types. But still! Oh boy, I can't wait to meet her! Okay, Skull, play it cool. Sign some autographs, flash her a smile, and send her swooning. It's probably probably his sister, isn't it? Amy? Called it. Oh, come on. Do I look like some thug to you? Let me in. Just this once. Like I said. Commoners are not allowed inside. <laughs> he thought our sister was our girlfriend. Look, I just need to give him this snack. I can't have him go hungry. Well, you could always give it to me, cutie. <laughs> and that's how that guy died. I've tamed bulls with more manners than you. <laughs> now let me through before the food gets cold. That's one to use. I've tamed bulls with more manners than you. Sis! Oh, there you are. Hi, bro! What are you doing? Oh, you know, you left without waiting for your snack. And I would have delivered it to you sooner if some meatheads didn't get in the way. Squire, control your sister! You know, commoners aren't allowed here at these hours. <sighs> damn kid! Still needs his damn sister to baby him! Uh, baby? These guards are just asking for it! But they do have a point. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing that Amy's doing this. But still, damn it, what do I do? Um, thanks for the snack, sis. Thanks, sis. Anytime. Made your favorite, too. Brie and wheat sandwiches with poached meat on the side. Aw, oh, that sounds good, too. <laughs> nice. Squire, do you think we're just going to overlook your sister's behavior? Yeah. We can't have commoners demanding passage into the castle. She won't do it again. That's not the point, Squire! Rules are rules. Guys, just chill. Okay? Does she look like some kind of criminal to you? 
Then again, I can see why this is bothering you so much. I mean, after wrecking your friend over there, I'm pretty sure she could fight her way past both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Such insolence! That's funny. My ball still hurts. That's not. That's also funny. Anyway, like I said, it won't happen again. Oh, thanks. All right. I'll see you later, sis. See ya. <laughs> it's five o'clock already. Wow. What a day. What a day. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Moldy cheese obtained. Interesting. Doggo! Pet the doggo! Nothing today? It's okay. You'll get something next time. Okay. I want to go home and check the calendar. Dang it. Hey, sis, what kind of stuff do you like? What? We've been living with each other for years now. Shouldn't you already know? Well, people change over the years. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> Fine. Fruits, bro. I love fruits. I love the feeling of sinking your teeth into something fresh. Imagine all that juicy goodness. Good to remember. Amy likes food. Fruit. The best time to eat them is right before they're ripe. That way, there's a nice sour kick to the flavor. Actually, I snatch some pears from our orchard every now and then. Don't tell Dad, okay? It'll be our little secret. <laughs> it took her an hour to talk about fruit. Okay. Check the calendar. Somebody's birthday is the 18th. Holy cow, how do you pronounce that name? Hang on, hang on. Abrian Lacher Fiona. Abrian Lacher Fiona. Holy, what a name. Okay. Amy's birthday is on the 18th. Oh, look at all these names. I can't pronounce these. I can't show those either. Wow, okay. <laughs> Um, we could, Amy's still here. We could talk to her again. Hey, bro. Back so soon? We can give her something. Thanks. This looks neat. Yay. How about we just call it a night? Wouldn't want to marry her. Too hard to pronounce. Yeah. Well, it's too late to do anything else. Slept for a whole ten hours. Yeah. Must have needed it. Are we maxed out on Amy? Is that what that is? Looks like we need the most work with Va Vel and Kamala both. Stats. Okay. Let's work on upping our stats today. No, it's too early to go to sleep. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. Who's Who goes to bed at 6 a.m. unless you've been pulling an all-nighter? Nice. Sup, bro? Sis? I just realized. I've been living with you guys for years, but I don't really know that much about Pops. What's his deal? Does he have a cool backstory or something? This is obviously totally a, a random conversation that you would have right now for no reason. Well, Dad doesn't really like talking about his youth. Even I don't know much about his past. But when I asked him, he said he came from some farming village in the far north. But that's just what he wants us to think. If you ask me, I think... 
He was actually raised in the wild by bears. Bears? <laughs> yep. You ever see Pops get angry? That guy could wrestle a 30-foot tree and win. Trust me, bro. It all makes sense. Bears. Well, I uh, don't think she's wrong. Oh, there's something going on in the archives. Yeah, let's go to the archives. <clears throat> so, Hugh said he didn't want a dumb squire. What books would make me smarter? Let's see. The Mating Habits of Monsters Volume 1. Looks like someone got bored. Let's start with this. A male slime keeps the female busy with an offering of food. While she eats, the male tries to mate with her. Oh, well, that's rude. If the female runs out of food before he's done, she violently shoves him off. Poof! Sounds like Hugh's love life. But that's enough weird monster facts for today. Isn't that Giselle? What's she doing with all those books? Oh no. Hey nurse! Giselle? What you doing? <gasps> her books fall down. Looks like I scared her. Smooth move, Skull. No. Uh, sorry about that. I just wanted to help. She takes a step back and starts fidgeting. You okay? A few more breaths eventually calm her down. It's you. Here, let me get this for you. The Art of Alchemy, a guide to the occult. Uh, Giselle? Yes? Are you some kind of witch? Well, that's not a no. Dumbass. I, I don't mind. I just want to make sure. All right. Who the hell's making a ruckus in my archive? Who is this? Giselle, I can't believe this. You know better, girl. No, no, his fault. I don't care whose fault this is. Hand me your passes. No books for a month. The ultimate punishment. No, no, please. My, my research. I'm sorry, Giselle. I can't play favorites, no matter how ridiculously cute you are. Look, isn't this too much? I'm the noisiest one here, see? You have to punish anyone, it should be me. Aw, look at you. Playing the hero, huh? It suits you. Please? Aw, oh, Giselle, don't make that face. Ugh, fine. Since it's your first offense, I'll let you both go with a warning. My heart isn't made of stone. Just remember to play nice, <coughs> or else. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too. This won't happen again. All right, all right, whatever. Just keep it down. I run a respectable joint here. <laughs> Who even is this? Whew. <laughs> Close one, huh? I know, I know. I'll be more careful. Oh. Research, huh? What kind of magic are you working on? <laughs> Bye. Hey, wait up! I knew it. You're a witch, aren't you? Huh. I guess some ladies need to keep their secrets. Relationship increased. All right. And has felt closer to me. How about that? Birthday is now on the calendar. How about that? <laughs> Time to get some reading done. Hugh used to lend me a book about this knight and his pet dragon. I wonder if it's still around. Huh? Where is it? Well, let's settle for something else. I'm getting bored. Now, what do we have here? My squire seeks friendship. Maybe more. What the? This sounds sketchy. Uh, let's pick something else. Gah! Another one? What, what part of the archive is this? You haven't missed much, Tim. Hey, you. With the face. What are you doing over there? Oh, 
Sorry, I was just... Oh, I remember you. Aren't you that noisy virgin hanging around Giselle? What? <laughs> Who you calling a virgin? Meh. I calls them like I sees them. Anyway, you're not supposed to be in here, Mr. Er... Virgin face. Who are you again? I'm Hughes' squire, and I'm not a virgin. <laughs> There's no use hiding it, kid. Might as well paint yourself red, because I see one big cherry boy. Wow. <laughs> Shut up! And who are you supposed to be? Some librarian? Some librarian? <laughs> Bitch, please. Wabba lava dub dub. Pamu. Pamu, huh? So that's who this is. Pamu. <laughs> she looks like she belongs in some sort of an RPG. You? The Grand Archivist? <laughs> You're not fooling me. You're too young to run this place. Me? Young? Aw, oh, thanks. I may be 10,369 years old, but I look pretty bitchin' if I say so myself. 10,000. You're not making any sense. That makes two of us, noisy McLoudmouth. So can you move it along? You aren't supposed to be in here anyway. This is my, ahem, private collection. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? Like I said, I was looking for something to read, but... Looking for something to... Hold on a sec. You're here, so that means... Do you also like this stuff? Are you as messed up as I am? Is that why you're here? What? N hell no! Don't worry. I can keep the secret. Especially slutty secrets. I think we are way beyond. Good night, everybody. It's not like that! Really? Well, I'm sure a loyal squire like you spends a lot of time around his beloved knight. What? <laughs> Who, whoever wrote this dialogue <laughs> clearly had a lot of fun. Don't the two of you go out on dangerous adventures? Yeah, so? <laughs> Don't the nights get cold on the road? I bet one small blanket isn't enough to keep both of you warm. Huh? Don't you go there! <laughs> it's not denying it! What a treat! A knight and a squire grasping for warmth in a cold and desolate land. Don't you feel any tension? Of course not! Oh, really? Not even a tiny little spark? No, 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 no. Aw, what a bummer. Just when I thought this game was getting good. Is she talking about this game? This game that I am playing? Maybe? Well, if you aren't here for that stuff, then this section isn't for chumps like you. Pound sand, young man. Okay, sheesh! I'm going! What a weirdo. So is she another one of these girls? Kind of looks like I can interact with this. Oh, I can. So much to do, so much to read. Hey, now. And... Oh, really? I see. Oh, yes. There's no power like brain power. Okay. Oh, Giselle's here again. Y yes y Yes? Okay. Now that we've been making progress, got any other cool hangouts? Sometimes. The forest. What about the forest? Rare herbs. Good for research. What a coincidence! I also go there every now and then. Alone? Well, you comes along with me sometimes. I thought as much. Hey, I carry my weight. I'm sure you do. Jeez, are you being sarcastic? Sometimes I really can't tell with you. I'm never sarcastic. W wait, that also <laughs> sounded... Damn it! You're one tough nut to crack. <laughs> oh man, I like I like her attitude. 
Okay, there's really nothing else for us to do here. I could give her a gift, but there's no... I mean, what would I even give her? You again? I could give her Bessie's milk, a tiny fish, moldy cheese, or a band-aid that she hates. So we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to leave. And go home, which was where I was going to go anyway. Hey, sis, pops, I'm home. It, it's fine, Dad. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Tall. Sis? You think you're fooling your old man? I know you're a strong girl, but you gotta know when to call it quits. Pops, what's wrong with Amy? What's it look like? She's sick. No! Nothing. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm just a bit tired. Oh, come on, Amy. You're sick and you know it. You've barely even touched your food. I'm just not hungry. That's all. You've been pushing yourself too hard again. Not sick. Just give a few minutes. <laughs> I'll be back to normal. I don't know. She sounds sick to me. Ah, you're just like your mother. Taking on the world without once thinking about yourself. Maybe it's my fault. I've been too busy. Dad, no. I kept my eyes on the fields all this time. I should have known. I don't blame yourself, Pops. If anything, it's my fault. She's been doing all my chores ever since I started squire work. Now listen here, boy. Don't go apologizing for things you don't have to. But I owe you guys so much. You're a squire now. Stuff like loyalty is good and all. But if you're gonna let things like goodwill and gratitude slow you down, then you're never gonna get anywhere in this life. Stick to your duties, lad. <sighs> Though I'm one to talk. It's nobody's fault. Amy, at least let me help you up to your bed. You're too weak to climb the stairs on your own. No. It's really okay. I can do it on my own. <laughs> Amy tries to stand up. Her legs shake as she makes her way across the living room. Amy, please. If you don't want Pops to do it, at least let me carry you up. You can go to my room. I can take care of you there. Good night, everybody. What? But... Come on. I could use a good workout. Pops, on the other hand, he'd just pick you up like a paperweight. Stupid cracker sprites. <laughs> what? What are you on about? Cracker sprites. You know, they're these little spirits that live in the crops. They drain your energy if you forget to take care of the plants. Hmm. I must have forgotten to water a patch. <laughs> Stupid me. Don't do that. Do what? The reason you're sick is because you've been pushing yourself too hard. Don't go blaming yourself just because of some old wives' tale. It's not just some old wives' tale. Yeah, imagine if that's the actual in-game reason. My mother used to tell me stories of cracker sprites. Oh. Sis, you're burning up. I am? It's that bad? Wait, bro, what if... What if... Amy, are you alright? What if it's the same sickness that got my mom? Bro... I'm scared. Am I going to die? Ah. What? No. It'll be fine. No, it's not fine. That's what the doctor said. They said she would be fine. Everyone told me. Everyone said she would be fine. <gasps> Sis, calm down. I... I... Relax. Take deep breaths. It'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Have you calmed down? Yeah, I hate this. It's just being sick. It's so scary. Stupid cracker sprites. They've already taken so much from me. I'm sorry for all the trouble, bro. Don't apologize. Wait here. I'll get a basin. What are you doing? What's it look like? I'm gonna give you a sponge bath. Good night, everybody. What? You can't do that. You're sweating all over. You can't go to sleep like that. You have a 
have a point, but... Come on. It's the least I can do. I've been doing all of my chores ever since I started squire training. But you're a guy. Does it have to be you? You're too weak to give yourself one. And the only other choice we have is calling Pops over to do it. And trust me, he's going to make it real weird. He'll say something like, Ha <laughs> ha! My child, look how much you've grown! And what are these things on your chest? No, stop. Just thinking about it makes me... Okay, fine. You win. Wow. I mean, what else can I say? Wow. Just give me a towel to cover myself, okay? Sure. That actually feels really good. I never noticed, but Amy's got a really nice back. Uh, is it weird that I'm noticing that? Damn it. Never mind. Skull, think of something else. This is revenge, isn't it? Huh? For what? For all the times I made you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe. Just you wait then. Once I'm feeling better, I'll get you back. I remember seeing you for the first time. I was still taller than you back then. What did you think when you first saw me? Ew, it's a girl. Accurate. Oh. That's what I really thought. Of course, I got used to girls after a while. How about me? What were you thinking when we first met? I was thinking you looked lost and lonely. Really? Yeah, I would know. Because I was feeling the same way too. This is actually really sweet. Mama died earlier on that year. When something like that happens, things feel different. It was hard to just go back to playing with the other kids. But I guess I made friends with you because I thought we were the same. The years sure have gone by, haven't they? Yeah. But whatever happens, you're still the little brat I met 14 years ago. Well, you're still the hopeless loser I used to bully. <laughs> hey! Well, fine. You've changed a bit since Hey, then. it is weird, Dim, but it's also sweet. Like, this conversation they're having is sweet. Really? Yeah, now you're a hopeless pervy loser. Also accurate. Ow! Oops. Sorry. Y you splashed water in my eyes. Accident! Yeah, right. That was on purpose. Well, you can't prove it. Hey, do you mind staying with me for a while? Sure thing. Heh. <laughs> Looks like she's starting to fall asleep. Good. She needs rest. Hey, bro. What's wrong with staying here? What? I don't want you to go. The war. I don't want to lose you. Please stay with me. I'd really love to, sis. But... <sighs> Good night. Asleep already, huh? Good night, sis. Achievement unlocked. Cerulean pie. Oh, it's midnight. Also, it's not his sister. This is his adopted sister, which I guess makes it all okay. You've got to have that trope in VNs or anime or whatever, right? Well, I was going to... I wanted to go to the barracks anyway to train up, so... Hey, this works. The layout of this game is just so well done. You have multiple options, but it encourages you to pick one hey, path. You? Where are you? Just this works really, really well for someone who plays games like I do. I'm ready to learn how to kill people now. Really fits my playstyle, is what I meant by that. Oh, he left me a note. Squire, practice your lunges. Be back in a few. Hugh, heart. Seriously, a heart? Does he think that's cute? No wonder he never gets laid. What a creep. Calling me stupid? Well, take this, you dummy! 
Whoa, calm down, Squire. Don't argue with a straw man. Oh, you're back. <laughs> I'm almost done with these lunges. Great, because I've got good news for you. I've signed you up for volunteer work. Thanks, you're, you're a peach, you. You, you know what volunteer means, right? Yes, it means turning someone like you into a productive member of the society. Hey, I can pull my own weight. Well, that's not what Amy says. <laughs> Whatever. Now, what am I in for? The infirmary will be needing a few more hands. This better not be cleanup duty. <laughs> You'll find out soon. Oh, come on! Whatever it is, there's no avoiding it now. Besides, those odd jobs are how I made a name for myself. Yeah, Hugh, because everyone obviously thinks so highly of you. If you've got time for insults, then you've got time for work. Now hop to it, Squire. Whoa, why so serious all of a sudden? Whatever happened to the fun, hard-drawing you? Gone. The job's waiting. Fine, fine. I'm going. Yep, this is probably going to be janitor duty. Hey, anyone here? I volunteered for that infirmary job? Kinda. Just a minute. Oh, hi, Doc. Who is this? It's Dr. Cecilia. Okay, never mind. I met her a couple of times before. She usually helps us whenever Amy gets sick. Ah, I guess I heard it right. You are a squire now. What's with them introducing all these new characters five hours in? That's good news for the both of us. Thanks, Doc. I'll be in your care from now on. So you're the boy Hugh promised, eh? You look capable enough. Giselle, would you come here for a second? The nurse? This might be my chance to make a better impression. Oh, no. Hey, Giselle! Another volunteer, please. Do you know each other? No. Uh, are you still mad about that thing at the archives? Well, don't worry, Giselle. I'll make up for that today. Doubtful. Now, Giselle, you know we can't afford to be picky with our help. I'd go with you myself, but I'll be busy taking care of the king. Okay. I'm sure you'll do fine, dear. Just don't go too deep into the forest. The forest? What kind of job is this? You'll be watching over her while she gathers some herbs. Thank God! I thought I'd be cleaning up. Watching over her should be simple enough. It is, but watch out for bandits or the occasional wild boar. Ah, good. More boars to worry about. For some reason, those two things always slip past the patrols. Don't worry. I'll know what to do. And what would that be? Run, of course. Uh, clearly. Good. Just remember to not leave Giselle behind. <laughs> of course not. I'm ready. All right then. You two, keep safe. I'll see you both later. Hopefully unscathed. No worries, ma'am. She's in good hands. Giselle, let's... Go. Uh, don't take it personally. She's always been like that. I'll try not to. All right. You know, a day with Giselle. Looking after you would be way easier if you weren't so far away. Is it my breath? I don't smell, do I? I remember taking a bath this morning. Good for you. Am I ugly? Yes. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> well. At least this face could scare the boars away, right? Tough crowd. Giselle sure knows her way around here, huh? She probably visits a lot. Well, I don't blame her. This place is nice. If I liked hiking, I'd probably enjoy the scenery too. Too bad there's already a better one in front of me. You need help with that? No. Yeah, that's fine. Just go ahead and take your time. I think I've got a thing for nurses. So, uh, what's that plant called? 
Agrimony. Do you need to be gentle with it? Yes. Then take your time. Done. Uh, already? Yes. Why? Oh, nothing really. It just seems like you know this place well. Please don't rush. Yeah. Smooth, Squire Skull. Real smooth. <laughs> you even know where to find all the herbs. Of course. I knew it! You are a witch. I, I'm kidding. <laughs> Didn't take you for the outdoors type, that's all. It's a pleasant surprise. Imagine if somebody just happens upon the stream right now, this very minute. They're, they're going to be really confused. <laughs> there. What? You want to go deeper? Scared. Me? Scared? Ugh, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Damn it. My pride as a squire is on the line. Okay, we go in. I am not. I just didn't think you were the risk-taking type. Good. Now hurry. And there she goes. Hey, wait up! Giselle, I think we should wrap it up. More. No, really, we should. Weirdo. Two figures make their way through the tall grass. Whoa! Who the hell are these guys? Damn it, they don't look friendly at all. Something inside me kicks in. It's telling me to grab Giselle and run the hell away. Giselle, we have to go now! I take her by the arm and... <laughs> no, shh. What was that? She tries to push me away as I cover her mouth. Who's there? She can't get caught like this. Giselle struggles, but I managed to keep us hidden. Hey, did you hear that? <laughs> Bandits, you gotta calm down. She continues to panic. Her breathing's too loud. Giselle, please, they'll catch us. That's enough. We gotta be quick. I don't want him tracking us down. It's probably some shitty bird. Hey, it's not my fault that we gotta be careful. This wouldn't be so hard if Jim didn't fall asleep that one night. Yeah, classic Jim falling asleep. Middle of the night! Who sleeps at night? Freaking Jim! Trouser run's been tough with our damn cook gone. Hey, wait a sec. Please don't let him see us. Please! Oi! You there! Ah! Uh... Joe! Go on, get! <laughs> I told you it was a bird! Good. Let's get out of here. Thank God! Oh, they're gone. We can finally... Wait! Didn't know she had it in her, but Giselle shoves me hard into a tree. Ah! What's the matter with you? You're, you're too close. Well, I had to. Did you want to get killed by bandits? I, I'm sorry. Oh, great. Now I'm scaring her, too. Look, it's fine. You're fine. Let's just go home. Agreed. I wonder what that was about, those bandits. What were they doing? I warned you two about this. I'm sorry, ma'am. This was my fault. No, mine. Please, children, enough. I, I'm sorry. What matters is that both of you are safe. Giselle, we'll talk later. You should rest. Yes. Excuse me. Doc, I, I wish it could have gone better. I really am sorry. It's okay now. Her being far from those bandits is enough. Giselle has had some bad experiences, you see. She does. What happened? A raid, Squire. Her home was raided. Oh. Damn. Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just that the same thing happened to me. Aw. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm loving this exposition that we're getting this episode. If I become a knight one day, I'll drive the fuckers out of the kingdom. <laughs> I look forward to that. 
Anyway, I thank you again for the help. I hope you become a successful knight someday. I will. Oh, by the way, tell Giselle that I hope she feels better soon. Don't worry, I will. Come back soon, Squire. Thanks, Doc. Come back soon to the hospital. Is she hope that something bad happens to us? Yay, and we can talk with Giselle about more stuff now. Let's go ahead and open this drawer. Nothing there. And this box thing. Another band-aid. Okay. Uh, we could go to the outskirts. Or we could go to the plaza. You know, we really need to talk to Kamala more. Let's go to the plaza talk with her. Hello there, Squire. What does she think about the moldy cheese? I know you are fond of mischief, Squire, but now is not the time. Well, she did not like the moldy cheese, people. Why, hello there, Squire. Hey there, Princess. How goes all the diplomat stuff? Oh, I am glad you asked. I was attending a royal meeting the other day. And I must say, Beatrice is quite the ruler. One of the lords was not too happy with the current state of taxes. However, she quickly silenced him with a string of insults. <laughs> I find it fascinating that you can craft such foul insults in your language. Nice. So, what kind of insults did you learn today? Oh, don't ask that. If I recall correctly, Beatrice said something about his lineage being tied to that of a stray dog. And another about his mouth only being good for producing excrement. Hmm. Unfortunately, although I was educated in the ways of your tongue, I am sorely lacking in the art of Cerulean insults. I must expand my knowledge of such things in the future. Yeah, that sounds peachy. Sure. Who does like moldy cheese? I don't even know. Well, that's all we can do here. Let's go to the tavern and uh, bump up our appeal, was it? Uh, Charisma, that's it. Well, hello there. <laughs> Look at him wearing a nice tuxedo. <laughs> Everyone's good. Well, it's late. Hard to believe I'm already halfway through the stream. This game just flies by, doesn't it? Okay, we're four days away from our sister's birthday. Five days away. I hope she's feeling better. Bro, I'm glad you're awake. Look at this. Uh, a piece of paper. Just make it a three-hour stream. Well, I guess I could. Not just any paper. It's a coupon for Serena's shop. Serena? Is she cute? I, uh, she's mature. Mature? Ah, you mean she has a nice rack. Could you stop thinking of boobs for once? She's a shopkeeper. Fine, fine. Oh, uh, what about the coupon? I saved this for you. There might be something useful you could find there. It says, free item. Whoa! Thanks for hanging on to this, sis. Let's check it out! Took two hours Looking to get to the good, shop. good, Mr. Fertility God. For the last time. It does not look like you, so stop flirting with it. She's talking about that statue. <laughs> skull Squire, Squire Skull thinks that that statue looks just like him. That's cute. It's called admiring art, Amy. Just look at those muscles. C could you not? It's creeping me out. Fine, I'll stop. 
Now, come on, bro. It's over here. Hey, wait up! Get your limited edition Sir Grand helmets and more only at Serena's shop. Oh, greetings, Amy. Hey, Serena. I brought you another customer. And who might this be? He's my bro. Step bro, actually. Greetings. Hey, so I heard you were giving out free stuff. Bro, manners. I mean... I I have personally walked into one or two shops with a free coupon and said that. Hey, heard you're giving out free stuff. Do not fret, Amy. He's merely heading straight to business. See, she gets it. Here's my <laughs> coupon. Hmm, yes. Let me see if I have something for you. Ah, here it is. Have the cerulean lotus brooch. Uh, thanks, Serena. That looks nice. This is real nice and all, but I don't think a squire like me could use this. Who do we give this to? Oh, I see. Well, you could give it to someone special as a gift. I'm sure this would be more popular with the ladies. Who do we give that to? Hey, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I will. Well, unless we find fruit, how about we give it to Amy on her birthday? And if you need to buy more gifts, just drop by my store. But do remember that the next items that you get from me will come at a price. Gotcha! Thanks for the coupon, We can Serena. buy gifts we'll now. Okay, that's great. We could buy gifts. And thank you for visiting my shop. Well, she was nice. And just like you said, mature. Ah, bro! Anyway, thanks for bringing me here, sis. Those items look pretty useful. No problem, bro. Lotus bro brooch obtained. I couldn't say brooch. I read that as brooch, and I'm like, that's not it. Lotus brooch obtained. Why is that such a hard sentence to say? Lotus brooch obtained. Wow, that's hard. Okay. Lotus brooch obtained. Good lord. Here we go. This pretty face has some pretty items for sale. Look at all the stuff we could buy. We could get tarot cards and give those to Giselle. Oh man, we could buy the wild pink berry for Amy. Every single one of these gifts is perfect. Can we sell something? Stuff we don't need. Like that. Tiny fish. Hello? Can I sell that? There. Perfect. And... Alright, this is perfect. Um, I, I suppose we could do that too, Dim, if uh, that were possible, but it's not. So. I'll take good care of your goal. Okay. Okay, we bought that. The rest of these, I'm not sure what to give who, but these tarot cards I could totally buy right now. By all means, keep buying. And give to Amy, uh, give to Giselle the next time I see her. Amy, we're going to give her fruit on her birthday, five days from now. What's up, sis? Hey, what's wrong? Bro. I'm worried about Dad. He's been staying up late and drinking more each night. Maybe it's Mum. I think he misses her. Amy. It's surprising how such a big smile can hide all that sadness. But... But it's okay, bro. We all gotta try our best to smile. Okay, what's the next story event? Oh, we can pick Infirmary with Giselle or Archives with Amy. You know what? Let's go to the Infirmary since we did just buy those tarot cards. We got a split decision here. That's crazy. I wonder how Giselle's doing. Oh, there she is. 
At least she doesn't look too busy. Giselle! Hey, it's just me! Your heroic savior! Remember? It takes a moment, but she calms down after a few breaths. Beginning to understand her more now. I think she's just emotionally shut down because her village was raided. I think that's I think that's what it is. Shh, shh. Sleeping patience. Oh, sorry about that. What do you want? Whoa, no need to be so cold. I just wanted to check on you. To see if you're alright. why? I uh, Well, why not? <laughs> I was worried, of course. I... I'm fine. Thank you. That guy is not. Excuse me. She goes to one of her patients. I remember that guy. He's the one with the rotting wound. The guy who needed the maggots. Ugh. You. Back. Giselle? Who is that guy? Looks like he's been here for a while now. His name's Donis. Wound's not healing, huh? It's fine. Really? And why is he still here? Observe. Groggy, irritated, unmotivated. Any ideas? He's got a really bad hangover? Hey, I'm not a nurse! Drowser abuse. Drowser? That's a drug, right? Isn't that what the bandits mentioned before? E yes Nurse, please! This isn't enough! Ah, uh, rehab. Shouldn't you do something? He still looks... sick. <sighs> I did. I've heard about this from Pops, but I had no idea it'd be this bad. Is there any way to help these people? Does it matter which one of these we pick? Let's go at the bottom one. At least they're lucky someone like you gives a damn. Wait! I didn't mean it like that! No. I just... <laughs> they're people too. I, I know. I'm sorry. That did not come out right. We're trying. Look. Giselle takes out a small glass bottle from her nurse's kit. What is that? A test cure. There's a cure? Yes. Because we give a damn. Please leave. He needs rest. Uh, me and my big mouth. I'll see you around then. I, I hope that stuff helps him out. An addict, huh? I wonder what made him do it. That did not come out right. Oh well. Okay, I could talk to her. Gift the tarot cards. You didn't have to. Thanks. Ah, it worked. She was happy with that. Oh, that's a really nice bonus. Let's go. Open, open, open. Not opening. Open, open. Not opening. Let's talk to her again. Ask what she likes. Hey, so I was wondering, what kind of stuff do you like? Chocolates? Sweets? Flowers? Flowers? Good. Really? That's actually pretty romantic of you. I want snapdragons. For sedatives. Huh? Swamp poppy. For insomnia. Uh, okay. Okay, medicinal flowers. Buttercup. For poison. Just in case. Wait, what? Got it? Um... Good. Just in case what? Okay. Well, that's all we can do here. Um... Let's go to the barracks and talk with, uh, Beatrice. Yes? What do you want? 
Your Highness, I wanted to ask, who else is helping you run the kingdom? Is there anyone I should know about? You mean my subjects? What business do you have asking about them? I'm just curious. I mean, isn't it best for me to know who I'll be working with? Yes, that is true. Though, are there not other people you could ask? People with more free time than me. Every minute of a princess's time is precious, you know. Oh, sorry. I just thought you looked like you might have some free time. Are you insinuating that I am ignoring <laughs> my duties? Squire Skull is really bad at speaking, isn't he? <laughs> what? Of course not, princess. And on that matter, what are you currently doing? Because as my subject, you were obligated to make yourself useful. In fact, any time wasted on your part translates to time wasted on mine. Is that clear? He is not a smart man. Yes, princess. <laughs> Squire Skull is very not smart. But we did get a relationship boost. Let's go ahead and train. I am... Almost out of cash. Woo! I can feel the burn. We'll do more next time. I promise. Nothing happened? <laughs> Fun. Okay. We have to go out and actually, like, do raids and stuff tomorrow morning because we're all out of dough. We need dough to do stuff. Okay. Okay, we need to go out and actually play play the game now. <sighs> Which means no matter what, oh, we can we can talk to her real quick at least. So, sis, any other things that you like? Oh, the snacks at the plaza are pretty great. So she likes food. I remember when I was little, Mum used to sell some at the stall. She would bake these. Awesome apple pies. At the end of the day, I'd have first pick to all the leftovers. Oh man, that sounds good. <laughs> ah, those were the days. I guess it's true what they say. Food makes memories. That's why I put all my heart and soul when I bake. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay, we really need to go and train. I don't care if there's an exclamation mark on the map. We have to ignore it because we need to train... Because, oh man, there's two! We need dough! We need, look, every single girl is on the map right now. We have to ignore them because we're out of cash. Ready to get revenge on that master ink? Uh, Hugh? That thing kind of kicked our asses last time. What's this? There were three! Cold feet? We need money, man! I don't know. Maybe we should try some other time? Really? Well, it's your loss. I hate that I had to skip all that, but we need I guess money! I am keeping that, that rare magic item all to myself once I find it. Magic item? Oh, it's nothing. It's just some legendary artifact. Stories say it belonged to the fertility god or something. You, nah, you probably wouldn't be interested in it. Wait, a legendary artifact? Hmm, yes, what was it called again? The drums of love? Or was it a flute? Oh, that's right! It's the Ocarina of Love! Non-copywritten. <laughs> the Legend of Long Ocarina of Love. <laughs> wow. You heard it right, kiddo. They say that if you play it in front of someone you really like, your relationship with that person will bloom into romance. Fertility God's balls! That's exactly what I need! Well, rumors say that it's hidden deep within the forest. But I guess you're not too interested in that, seeing as it's inside a very dangerous forest. Don't worry, kiddo. I'll handle this. You can just stay here and... Like hell I'm gonna stay here! Let's do this, Hugh. <laughs> I'm gonna find that ocarina. I swear that kid never changes.
Um... Caught a tiny fish. You up for an adventure? Let's go! All right! Epic loot here we come! I need money! <laughs> Give me my money! Look at how... Wow, we have done nothing. Okay. Well, let's hope that this gets us money. That ocarina's gonna be mine! Trash talk. Yes, trust me. Now that feels better. I got you back. Five hundred. Yeah, although after taxes, I think I only get like four. Not four hundred, four. Uh, these are adorable little creatures, though. I like them. Whoever made this game certainly had a whole lot of fun. Raising. You got the goods, kiddo? Alright, where's my ocarina? Patience, young squire. I told you, it's deep within the forest. Looks like we'll have to keep coming back. Four thousand gold. All right, we got money. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! King's dues three thousand. Income tax eighteen hundred. Welfare system six hundred. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Hughes cut five forty. Your cut sixty. Go one percent of what was left. We got sixty, and that's it. Insert death and taxes joke here. Quote, not joke. Okay, do we want to go there, talk to the princesses? Do we want to go to the plaza, talk to Giselle? Do we want to go home and talk to Amy? None of them have exclamation marks, so they're not all too important, it looks like. Let's go here. Pretty pointless to grind. Yeah, it kind of feels like it. But we do have gold now. Nothing there. And the most important thing of all... Pet the doggo! Broken earring obtained. Which princess do we talk to here? Let's talk to Kamala. We need to up our friendship Why, with her. Hello there, Squire. Hey, why the long face, princess? Is anyone bothering you? I can beat him up, to say the word. N no, I... I was at another meeting the other day. And I fear one of the marshals was being sarcastic towards me. Sadly, I could not really tell for sure, so I merely smiled and thanked him for his opinion. Though, now that I look back, I wish I said something witty or clever instead, just to send him a message that the Alcosi are not to be messed with. Isn't that how it always goes? You only think about your comeback, like... Three weeks later, while you're standing in the shower thinking about that conversation, you're like, Oh, I could have said this. Every time. Sorry to hear that, princess. Some nobles can be real dicks. Dicks? <gasps> That's it. Wait, what about dicks? <laughs> if I remember correctly, that is an insult, is it not? Yes, it is. I have an idea, then. Perhaps you can teach me the art of the insult. 
If I may be so bold, you are just the type of person who would have an experience with that sort of thing. Well, I have spent a good deal of time in the tavern. Indeed! You seem like someone who has been on the receiving end of many an insult. Gee, thanks. What? No! Uh, no need to hide it. This makes you the perfect teacher. Please teach me well. Uh, okay, fine. I'll teach you a couple of swear words you might need to know. Repeat after me. Ahem. <clears throat> Bullshit! Bullshit! <laughs> I'm liberating! More! Teach me more! Ah, oh, I cannot wait to use that word in the meeting tomorrow. What? <laughs> oh. Uh-oh is right. This can only end well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, the other princess is still here. Excellent. Yes? What do you want? Hello, your highness. Yeah, this the game is great. Sure smell nice, doesn't it? This, I love it. This does not take itself too seriously, and that's probably the best part about it. It's just fun. It doesn't care. It's just fun. There's always this flowery scent whenever I walk around the halls. Ah, Finally, someone noticed. I am quite fond of flowers. I owe this to my father, you see. When he was healthier, he was very fond of gardening. As such, he would bring back many exotic plants from his travels. Okay. Okay, I know exactly what to buy her then. He would give me the most magnificent of specimens. They would come in many colors. And their fragrance would rival even the most expensive Alcozy perfumes. And while I know it may be difficult to find rare flowers from across the world, I have come to appreciate even the simplest Cerulean flowers. And this is why the castle is adorned by a floral scent. Thanks for sharing that story, Princess. Oh, and I wish your father well. That was actually sweet. Yes. Now... Let us get back to our duties, shall we? <laughs> duties. Okay, it is night. They've gone to bed. Pet the dog on our way out! Pet him! Pet him! Pet him! Nothing's happening. We pet him. We pet him on our way in. I guess that's all that matters. Time to head home. Okay. Sister's birthday is three days away. Okay, now we can check out the exclamation marks. What can I do for you? Another one of these? Just don't spoil me too much, okay? Hey, it's something. I'm clicking A on Bessie, nothing's happening, so. Hey, bro! Notice anything different? Um. Did you do something to your hair? No, I bought a new blouse! Do you like it? It looks exactly the same. New? I don't really see the difference. What are you talking about? The one I usually wear is green. This one's emerald. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Honestly, bro, you need to be more sensitive when it comes to fashion. Oh, yeah. I see the difference now. Wait. No, actually, it still looked exactly the same to me. Just be nice, Squire Skull. Come really on. Now? Well, next week, I'm thinking of buying another one. Fifty shades lighter. Right. You do that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you're... Okay, okay. We got three... Three to choose from. 
Oh, man. Okay, I repeat, we need to bump up our, well, yeah, we need to bump up our relationship with Kamala. Vel is down there on the bottom right. We haven't even talked to her once today, but no exclamation mark. Ah, oh, the castle. Look at all the fancy things I can't afford. Now this looks pretty. I wonder how much... And that is how he died. Crap! What do I do? What do I... You! Halt! Your Highness, we are not yet done. Relax, Shira. Even a Ragni like you needs some rest. And you! I said halt! Oh no, I'm so dead. M me? Yes, you. I command you to stop. I didn't do anything. It was Hugh's idea. I swear by my squirely honor. Well. Please have mercy. I don't want to lose my head. <laughs> lose your head? I was just passing by. Please don't kill me. <laughs> you are an odd one. Princess Kamala? An old one, indeed. And who's she again? Her handmaiden? Ah, uh, I am in real deep. What a fortunate meeting, Squire. I am in need of your assistance. Me? Do you need help with Princess? They need to balance the audio a little better in this section. Worry not. It shall not take more than an hour of your time. You have my word, friend. Your Highness, lest you forget. Shira, there is no need to worry. I have not forgotten why I'm here. Then. But it can wait. I shall make sure that we will have the time for it later. Today, I simply want to do whatever I wish. Now come, let us be off, Squire. <sighs> you... You have not changed. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> Queen of Hearts, indeed. I thought Princess Gamal was gonna say more, but she just grabs my arm and drags me away. Come, Squire! What's going on here? Wait, wait! Jumping Lady of the Lake! Is this what they call a date? Oh, that one is gorgeous! Oh, and that too! I adore the pattern on that one! I should have seen this coming. Date in your dreams, Skull. But, heh, <laughs> I get to be this close to Princess Kamala. No complaints there. This beats Hugh's crappy training any day. Squire, please add this to the collection as well. Uh... Do you really need more shoes? You won't have two feet. <laughs> <laughs> Volume so low, I didn't even hear it at first. Nonsense! Footwear is mankind's most important invention ever. Thanks to footwear, our feet can remain pure and clean. In our course, feet are seen as an object of sexual desire. <laughs> Bet a couple of guys at the fair could change your mind about that. It, the voice is so low! <laughs> I wonder if they bumped it, like, down by 10 decibels instead of by 1. That's so, so quiet. Anyway, don't you have servants to help you with this sort of stuff? You are correct, but having them with me would simply defeat the purpose of today. Shopping? I must see Cerulea on my own, through the eyes of its people. By shopping? Indeed! I don't get it. Because before I am a princess, Squire, I am a diplomat. If I am to make this alliance work, I have to... No, I must understand your people and your culture. Why not just ask the princess? Beatrice is pleasant company, I would give her that. But we are... Uh, we are too much alike. To put it simply... There are things I could never learn within the walls of the castle, or in her company. Things that you would never hear others say within earreach of the people who rule them. And that is what I wish to see. But enough talk! Come! There is another shop at the end of that street! Wait, 
We aren't done yet? What are you talking about? We have barely even begun! Yay! Shopping! So, which of these are for your mother again? <laughs> None! All of these are for me, silly! We shall move on to that soon. Does she need ten pairs as well? More than! My Ema deserves the best. Halt, Squire. Do you smell that? It's not me! I took a bath this morning! Uh, probably the fish! No! The smell is of spices! They must have come all the way from home! Come, Squire! Let us visit the spice merchants! Well, at least we're done with shoes. Ah, Princess Kamola! You grace our market with your presence! I'm surprised your father finally let you out of his sight! Thank you, Lady Taliha. I see you're here for the black peppers. Of course. If we weren't trading with Alcos, all the food in this bloody kingdom would taste horrible. I am glad you enjoy them. Uh, do you mind if I accompany you for now? Of course not. Since we're on the topic of spices, let me point you to my go-to woman. Ah, oh, milady. Here for the usual pound of pepper, eh? And why, if it isn't the princess herself? Right you are. Is uh Squire Skull as bored as real Skull is? Princess. <laughs> I'm guessing it yes. Such a small thing could cost so much gold. Yes, prices are higher than usual, unfortunately. Until we have fully secured the trade routes in the Yafira Sea, I'm afraid it is going to stay that way for a while. But that's why you're here, isn't it? An alliance for the betterment of our peoples. That is my hope. Yes. Excellent. I pray that you succeed, Your Highness. I... Uh, thank you. Besides, what is life without a little spice, yes? Indeed. As expensive as it is, I could not live without this in my food. And this is fine black pepper, too. Tell me, where in Alcos did you get this from? I bought them near the Dogs District, Your Highness. Do you mind if I smell a handful? The spices remind me of home. Oh, uh, of course. A squire, would you fetch me a cup of water as well? I am thirsty. Are we taking a break? Yes. Please make sure it is a large cup. I know it. <laughs> I appreciate this chat of ours, princess. However, I must see to other business. Good day, my lady. Please, Lady Taliha, I insist you stay. There is this trick with spices that I want to show you. You're a magician now, Your Highness? Squire, you're back. Please, watch this as well. She places the cup on the spice merchant's table. I wonder if she'll turn it into wine like the fertility god did at the stories. If you're really set on this, Princess, I could spare a moment. Excellent! Now, you must know, my lady, that I was surrounded by all kinds of spices as a child. My father made sure of that. Of course, Robo also taught me about her weight in gold. G good for you, Princess. Now could I have that back? Don't get spoiled. Silence, you! Let her finish the trick first! I can pay for any damages. Th that's not the point. Princess Kamala drops a handful of the spice into the cup. Milady, you must know that Alcozi black peppers should sink in water. But if you take a look at this cup... They're floating? Those are not peppers. They are seeds. Oria seeds, to be exact. Oh, snap! This trick is what we commonly use to find swindling spice merchants in Alcos. Oh, snap! I... Wait! Lady Taliha, that woman is a fraud. Lady, this isn't what it looks like. Swindler, fiend, degenerate! You and your kind ruined Cerulea's economy! Our kingdom has no place for you and your black market dealings! Guards! Guards! Arrest this woman! Finally, some action! <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. Holy cow, that took a turn! Okay, Skull, okay. 
What did Squirehood for Dummies say about stuff like this again? Be a man, protect the princess, or a time for my ultimate technique. We protect the princess, of course. Our ultimate technique is tripping over ourselves, falling on our face, and rubbing our nose against the cement. Very painful. Uh-oh. Gotta keep the princess safe first. Stand back, princess. Let me handle this. Oh, wait, Squire. You don't have to... Don't worry, princess. I got this. Get down! Squire, no! What are you doing? Whoa! Princess, don't stop me! Let it be, Squire. It is already being handled. But... but I want to... The merchant tries to run, but a couple of guards eventually catch her. Princess, thank you! I am in your debt! It is nothing, Lady Kaliha. Whether in Arcos or Cerulea, such dishonest trade will not be allowed, ever. Fertility, God bless you, princess. I will remember this day. Master Trick, here is you. You godforsaken heathen! Why do I feel like I've heard about Drag before? Dogs. Your kind already makes it harder for us merchants here. Now you're getting us arrested? Stop sticking your noses in our business, you bitch! You will not speak of her highness in such a manner! My apologies, Princess Kamala. I'll make sure that she is duly punished. I... I... Are you all right, Princess? I, I, yes, I'm fine. Very well. Guards, to the dungeons with the fool! All sentences have recorded voices. Yep, every single one. Hey, Princess Kamala. Sure you're okay? It seems the tensions between our people run deep. I did not mean to cause such trouble. My mission is to simply spread the goodwill of my kingdom to yours. Hopefully, with this alliance, your people's opinion about my kingdom will slowly change. It would be most beneficial, especially... Especially when we're all on the brink of war. It is nothing. I simply remembered something. Now come. We have one last shop to visit before we return to the palace. But you already bought a lot. I think I deserve a bit more as a reward for exposing the spice caper. No. Someone help me! All of that only took three hours. Of things for this day, Squire. I hope to do this again soon. Your attentiveness was appreciated. I must say that I am fully enjoying Cerulea. I should dismiss you now. I apologize for taking too much of your time. <laughs> I actually don't mind if you take more of it. <laughs> You are really an odd one. <laughs> then I hope you also would not mind if I ask for a tour of your farm? Huh? Did she just... Oh god. This is big, Skull. What should I tell her? Uh, sure thing. Really? The farm? Indeed. Well, that's new. Okay then. That would be marvelous, Squire. Oh, crap. I gotta weed the farm. I gotta wash Bessie. I gotta... Uh, are you okay, Squire? If it is too much trouble... No, no, it's fine. Totally fine, Your Highness. Bessie would be delighted to be. I see. Well, I am ecstatic to meet this Bessie of yours, too. I suppose this settles it, then? Yeah. Holy crap. The princess. The princess of Alcos. In my home. Are you sure about this, Your Highness? There's really nothing much to see there. Oh, nonsense. I am sure it has plenty to offer. Besides, I would like to meet the person who raised such a hard-working squire. Your Raba must be a great person. Wait, what? Uh, well, worry not. It does not have to be tomorrow. I shall give you time to prepare. Wait! For now, farewell, squire. Does this mean... Does this mean that the princess is... Interested? 
in me? Heh, <laughs> so this is a date after all. How about that? What a long day it's been. All right. All right. <laughs> we got that with uh, with uh, Kamala that we wanted. Ah, uh, yeah, Leancho, I can I can imagine. Okay, where do we go now? Well, Vel's in the plaza. Let's at least talk with her once before the end of the stream. What do you want? Hey there! You know, I still have no idea how someone like you spends their day. But yeah, Leandro, um, recorded voices, here they are. <sighs> You're a stubborn one, aren't you? Fine, if you really want to know. I drink, I brawl, and I make sure that stubborn little gits piss themselves if they try anything funny. That's what I do, got it? Whoa, really? I, I find that hard to believe. Most people do, but you'd be surprised how most people are quick to change their minds after a few punches. Oh, okay. Yep, so you better watch yourself. <laughs> Doing my job then, Dem. I can't wait to get this game myself. I mean, clearly I already own it, but oh, hello everyone. <laughs> clearly I already own it digitally, but you know how much physical games mean to me. Let's talk to her. Come to serve your princess. Princess? I've noticed that there are a lot of pastry shops popping up lately. Pretty cool, huh? What a day to be alive! And you have me to thank for that. You see? I pride myself on being a pastry connoisseur. I have had the pleasure of tasting many pastries from around the world. From the strawberry tarts of Falcon to the grape-filled scones of Leavenwall. And after much study, I have come to this conclusion. Cream Puffs! Cream Puffs. Remember that. Beatrice Cream Puffs. Wait, what? Cream Puffs are objectively the best dessert ever created. I don't know if I've ever had Cream Puffs. Really? But what about apple pies? Do not question the royal tongue. I spent a good deal of my childhood figuring out what the best pastry is. At the tender age of 12, I finally discovered it. It was my first crowning achievement. It is cream puffs. Cream puffs are the best. Anyone who says otherwise is committing treason. <clears throat> you think she's maybe a little opinionated? We've already talked to Vel, talked to Beatrice. There's nothing else for us to really do here then. Um, let's go to the outskirts and chat with Giselle, <clears throat> and then it'll be time to go home. It's Giselle. What's she up to over there? A circle of salt, blood of a goat. Bark of an oak. Oh, she's a witch. Blood of a what? I have got to see this. Come forth, dark prince of... G Giselle? What's going on? Ah! Whoa! What's with this setup? Did you use blood? Um... Research. Ah, okay. As you were. Research? I've never seen research like that! It's... No. Experimental. Revolutionary. Right. Well, you're the nurse here, just, um, do your thing. She's clearly not a witch, right? Oh, and 
We can talk to her too. Why, hello there, Squire. Good day, Princess. Good evening. Squire, this is perfect timing. I have a question for you. I did not have the chance to ask Beatrice this, but that statue of a naked man in the plaza, who is he supposed to be? That's Squire Skull, of course. Oh, him. He's the fertility god. Ain't he gorgeous? Ah, yes. Your primary deity. Seeing statues of naked men is quite the experience for me, you see. In Alcos, we erect sculptures of the goddess. We have multiple statues of her throughout Alcos, her majestic feminine form on full display. In other words, naked. You mean in the nude? <laughs> Why, yes, of course. Much like your fertility god. <laughs> I see. Are you all right, Squire? You seem to be turning red. Squire Skull is the coolest, most calm, nonchalant person in the whole world. Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking how, uh, Alcos seems like a great place to live. I rest my case. <laughs> Indeed it is. If the alliance works out, perhaps you too will see it one day. That would be awesome. Okay, time to go home, go bed. Someday we'll be able to ask her more questions. Well, that's going to be the end of this stream. Two days away from our sister's birthday. All right, that'll bring this stream to an end. Please don't show me a cutscene right at the end of this. Okay, good. So that was day three of Love Esquire, which is out digitally right now. And there is a pre-order available for when the game releases physically on Nintendo Switch, apparently next month, slash this month, depending on where you are in the world. So anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. This has been a really, really fun game. We'll see if I play it again on uh, Friday or not. I guess we'll see. But I will be back Friday regardless. Hope everyone has had a great uh, time watching the stream. Until next time, on behalf of East Asia Soft, I have been Skull. Have yourselves a great day and a great week, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.